What's going on, cryptocurrency universe? It's the Bitcoin miner here, guys. And I hope everybody's doing well. Well, it's time to take this CPU mining rig and add some graphics cards to it. I finally got my hand on some A2 4000 graphics cards at a decent rate. Didn't have to overpay for them, so I'm excited. Um, so I'm excited to go ahead and build me one rig of A4000s here over at the house. Uh, that we're going to set up all in here now i have run into some problems when i initially built this i wasn't really thinking uh, gpu mining when i picked the board but i did know that i could use m.2 um, expansion slots like you have right here in order to run six cards in here so it is doable although i did a little bit of testing preliminary and i found out that the a uh, 4000 is quite a bit more stable than the Sapphire on that device for whatever reason. Um, but it, the A4000 does seem to be much more stable. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting this together, cleaning this rig up, and adding all of the power slots in here to run the A4000s. So we're going to take a look at the power supply over here and think about the amount of powers this particular is the evga 1600 t2 it has nine slots uh, for the eva evga power cables so with nine slots i can run everything i need to actually run here perfectly i can run all six um, because i need two for these risers over here uh, then i need two for the ones in the middle and then two here so that's uh, i can use a double cable just like we have right here. So we need three double cables for the bottom, and then we have six, and we can use six single cables uh, to power our A4000 GPUs. Yep, they only take a single six pin. These guys are very small and slim line. This is actually pretty uh, compact compared to what we're used to. So, we're going to be installing those, uh, six of them hopefully into this rig, but I did run into another problem. They only have display ports out, so I have to uh, leave this card in here temporarily until I can get a replacement cable with a display port out so I can attempt to do the same thing that will route. Uh, in this box, we route the uh, display or the, inner or the uh, actual monitor out through this cable here, and to another end here so that we can uh, get it out to the monitor and we basically use the front uh, this is kind of a reverse version of a usual u4 case usually the airflow is blowing this direction towards the camera uh, but this design has the airflow blowing in away from the camera so the airflow goes into the power supply cools off the power supply goes in the front cools off all the io the cpu and then goes over to the graphics cards and this custom design works because it takes the heat from these graphics cards and it's designed to direct them straight out the back so you can use a hot wall cold wall setup design where you kind of put your wall right here at the fans and you're able to take the heat coming right out the end of the graphics cards and expel it. So stay tuned, guys. I'm going to put this uh, rig together and um, see how stable we can get it. But for now, I'm only going to get five cards up and running because I don't have a way to get a display out. Uh, there's no onboard CPU with this um, graphics, excuse me, CPU, unfortunately. So we're just going to jimmy rig it till that wire shows up and get some of these A4000s up and running. Stay tuned, guys. Okay. As you can tell, I got all of the six pins plugged in and routed back and plugged into the main power supply. So cable management is going to be really important for airflow. So try to keep your cables as much as possible neat and organized. Uh, fortunately, in this design, we have a little slot, as you can see, right behind the uh, power supply that we can slide some of the cables back in there uh, to help get some of the excess out of the way. Here's the extra wire box. I'm going to dig through this now and see if I can find all the extra wires I need to get this rig of A4000 GPUs up and mining. All right. 
I found mostly what I needed. I can't seem to find any more four pins so I can separate the fans versus the M.2 risers. So I guess I'm just gonna have to run them all on the same circuit. So I found the three other cables I needed that were single plugs instead of double plugs. So let's go back outside. So this is the four pin Molex cable I was talking about. So I only have one, I think only one comes with per rig. Um, sometimes there's an extra one with the SATA mixture, but I can't seem to find any of those right now. I don't have any extra. So all I have is this one that's in the rig. As you can see, I'm powering this. And then this one's also powering the fan. So this is a custom made wire we used that will power the fan. So you can plug in three fans. The power comes from a four pin. And then there's a second branch off right here, as you can see right here. And it comes along and then it plugs into the fan header of the case. So that way, um, as things get hotter, these fans can ramp up or we can control them through the motherboard. So they're not always on full blast. So let me keep moving on this and we'll get this guy together. Okay, got the extra M.2 slot installed. So hopefully this will work out smoothly for us and we won't have too many problems. Now, the other thing I'd like to point out is when you guys are installing this to your four pin Molex, this can be tricky and don't force it guys, be patient. And one thing you can do is hold the wires in the back and line them up in center by holding the wires in a group in the back and then slide it in. Uh, is a trick especially when you get some of these low quality adapters they're the wires are very wiggly and they don't line up very easily okay guys i have it just about ready to go ahead and start plugging in all the gpus so one pro tip i'd like to give you is when you guys are plugging in your risers to your board i like to do them in order so when you're troubleshooting, you know if you're pulling the first one, you're pulling that first board card up there. If you're pulling the last one over here, then you're pulling the last one over here. Just makes it really simple when you guys are kind of going through, trying to figure out there's something wrong with a particular card, and you don't have to try to trace the wire or anything along those lines. So let's uh, go ahead and start putting these cards in and see if we can't get this bad boy up and running. The size difference of these cards is pretty dramatic. <laughs> but just so you understand, these cards to the left, these NVIDIA A4000s, are designed to be run in more of a server-style case, something more of what they're in right now, where the Sapphire card is more of a gaming card and is designed to be more in a conventional house system, which is usually starved of air they're usually hot boxes they're usually need to be really quiet or something like that so they require a much different cooling setup um, these guys a4000s will pump out a lot of heat be careful running them in open air i would strongly suggest running them in a forced air box something similar to this um, you know obviously you're putting some sort of fans on them they will definitely expand their life cycle uh, if you're able to keep them cooler so let me keep going and get everything plugged in and set up That sapphire really looks way out of place, but uh, it'll be changed out here soon enough as soon as I get the right cable so I can get a display out. But um, man, it's this case is like screaming for more graphics cards. But the good thing is we do have a prototype case or one we've made a few times. It was harder to fill um, with other graphics cards. I felt like they were getting overheated. Well, not really overheated, but hotter than I would have liked because they were like nose to nose. Um, so we didn't use that one very often, but it's an eight card case. So every one of these are much closer and you can fit eight of these cards in there. But as you saw with the power supply, there's only nine plugs. Now there is plenty of power with that 1600 T2. What you could do is run a double cable. So you have the two six, six pins cables and you can run a couple of them off of one two graphics cards off of one wire but that's pulling 300 watts off of that wire and i am not sure i'm going to advise people to do that um so i may be worth running a second power supply as you can see there's a four holes right there 
uh, that knockout knocks out and you can run a fourth, excuse me, a second power supply and then just put some 90 degree angles on the adapters right there. So you could run the eight in this case. And then we've also got a prototype case uh, which is even wider than your standard case that can hold 12 GPUs. And that's the one that we built the, uh, it's not really a CPU mining wall, but it's my CPU mining case. So I put three CPUs in that case, uh, mining Varus directly. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and keep getting everything wired in. It's all screwed up. I just gotta run these wires and try to neaten them up a little bit. And we'll be able to plug and play and get this guy mining. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. It's such a beauty. Other than that sore thumb just sticking out in the middle. But hey, it's all wired up, ready to go. And uh, it's time to plug this guy back in and see if she can uh, get the mining for us. Um, I ran out of uh, Velcro straps, unfortunately, but zip ties work just as well. So there you guys have it. Let's uh, get this guy into the garage get testing get everything going before we put her in her home downstairs in the basement well guys i appreciate you watching thanks again and uh, remember to like and subscribe uh, remember it's very important to like guys as much as possible and remember do a comment as well if you don't mind got any questions hey ask away i'll see what i can do to answer the community can answer them as well